Hey guys, Deju22 here, and uh, this will be the main event of the evening, and it is still a part of the Road to the Chamber tournament, and uh, our next matchup is going to be between Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Smash, or I, I forgot to mention, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is the 19th seed, and Smash is the 6th seed, Smash of Demolition. And this match will be a last man standing match, which is right up Smash's alley. So, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat has his work cut out for him, that's for sure. But with that said, here we go. And we're off. So for Ricky, he's got to strike, he's got to strike, and he's got to strike quickly. And as for uh, Smash, he's got to do what he does best. That's smash the competition. So for Ricky, uh, the only thing that could probably help, the, the only thing that could equalize the strength and power of smash would be to use weapons. Although, look at this. Look at the strength of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat picking up a near 300 pound man by the throat and dropping him. And then a and then a headbutt right to Smash, which I, I don't really think it's a good idea to try to headbutt Smash, but then again, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat has been there, he's done that, he's been world champion once before, and as for Smash, well, Smash is really known for his uh, tag team uh, prowess, along with Axe of Demolition. But, like I said, uh, it's right up Smash's alley, and a knife edge chop right to smash. Whip into the corner. And shoulder first into the post. Which if you can take out like a part of if you can take out his arm, you'll definitely take out a good chunk of Smash's offense. Elbow right to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, then a forearm. Wow, and a super hip toss onto Smash. Uh, excuse me, folks. I did not mean to uh, burp like that. And a back body drop, but yeah, now and now uh, Smash takes out Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now this match can end anywhere, folks. Uh, uh okay. Uh, I'm not sure why. What happened there? And now Smash gets taken down. But Smash gets back into the ring. A full Nelson, but that's not going to help him win the match. Okay, there we go. I had to adjust the camera there. Uh, what is... Oh, a side headlock takedown to Smash. Another side headlock takedown. I mean, right now, uh, Ricky the Dragon has beaten him to the punch, and that's exactly what he needs to do. A kick, a double axe handle, and a clubbing blow right to the back of the neck, which is right up Smash's alley. And now Smash, doing a little bit of smashing, but a side Russian leg sweep to Smash, which is a good way to take down, take down the big man. A kick and a punch right to the left arm of Smash. The same left arm that got rammed into the post earlier. Oh, and a leg sweep onto Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Elbow smash onto Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And if you take out one of his arms, and I mean Ricky's, uh, you do take out a good part of his offense. And... Ricky going, or Steamboat going for the left arm of Smash, trying to work on the arm to try to take out the arm and trying to drop his offense. A whip into the corner goes Smash again. And now Smash, now getting choked in the corner. Now he picks up Smash. Whoa! Oh, 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 okay, did you not see that? I'm surprised uh, Smash was able to reverse a cross body into a hip toss. That is 
unbelievable strength. But if anybody could do it, I guess it would be Smash. But now Smash goes right back to the attack. I mean, I mean, Ricky or, or I'll, I'll just call him the dragon. Well, the dragon is doing the right thing. I mean, he's uh, every time Smash tries to, you know, do some damage, he always finds a way to counter a move, which is a slow but a slow yet methodical pace to try to take down Smash. And now Smash going right to work on the neck of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now he picks him up. I mean, really, if anybody can break a neck, it can. It, it may as well be Smash. Wow, a couple of chops onto the uh, onto the chest, and then one right to the head. And now Smash was a little disoriented, but of course Smash wins the tie-up. A bear hug, but that's again, that's not going to do anything, but. Well, it doesn't matter because Ricky the Dragon Steamboat gets out of it. I'll tell you one thing, Axe, if it, or not Axe, sorry, uh, his partner Smash. I, I get Axe and Smash confused a little bit, sorry. If Smash somehow manages to win, uh, he'll, def he'll definitely be a tough out in this tournament, but... I mean, not that, not to say that Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is a tough out, isn't a tough out, but I mean, most guys would rather go up against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat than Smash. I mean, Smash is just big and powerful. A knee right to the head of Smash, and a power slam right to Smash, and now Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Uh oh, he's gonna set him up for it. A karate chop from off the top rope. And that could put him away as the referee counts down. If Smash doesn't get up, it's over. Uh-oh. Yep, Smash has been eliminated from the tournament. And for the second match in a row, uh, a low seed has beaten a higher seed. Well, I'll give Ricky the Dragon Steamboat a lot of credit. He was able to, you know, he, he was able to beat Smash to the punch. Just enough to set up a karate chop from off the top rope. But I'll give... I mean, Smash is no uh, pushover, I'll tell you that much. But for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, he's going to be moving on to the next round. But that's going to do it here. I am your host, Taju22, signing off saying goodbye and stay tuned for more. Next time on Let's Play WWE 12... Alright, have a good night everybody.